good morning once again. So good, so good to have you with me today. So thankful to, again to the Lord for those of you who spend time uh, with me, taking time to follow along with the devotions that I do each day. My hope and my prayer is that this ease, uh, that these verses that I share with you, the thoughts that I share with you will be a blessing to you. And that's again my prayer today. Hosea chapter 6 through 9 and Hebrews chapter 3 uh, are the Bible reading chapters that I read today. Uh, Hebrews chapter 3 verse 12 is a powerful verse. Beware, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. Well, when you look in the Old Testament at Israel's history, it's one that really mirrors this verse. For Israel was always... <laughs> departing from the Lord. From the time God brought them out of Egypt to the time of Hosea uh, to uh, to this very day, they are living in unbelief and rebellion. The good news about that is that God's not through with them yet, and there, uh, there will be a day when Israel will turn to the Lord wholeheartedly. And, but that's for another time. But the issue is that of rebellion and how that happened to them. Uh, and how it pertains to you and me today. If you take this literally, the message is pretty clear, and it's not ambiguous at all. Uh, we need to pay attention to what went on with them so that we don't do the same thing that they did. We are our own worst enemies when it comes to this, it seems to me. Uh, we, we think that we can handle life on our own, and we begin to drift, and then it seems like all of a sudden we find ourselves out of touch, and we wonder where the Lord went. Why, why did he depart from us? The problem isn't the Lord who has moved. Uh, uh, it's, it's we who have moved. It's like the old couple. Uh, the woman said to the man, you know, when we were young and in love, we used to sit close to each other. And now here's all this space between us. And the old man quiet for a while. And then he said, I haven't moved. Well, what, is, what does that mean to us? What do we do then? Well, the answer is to turn back to the Lord because he will have mercy upon us uh, just, just as he did with Israel. He will abundantly pardon, but we need to repent of those things that cause us to drift and turn back to the Lord with our whole heart and allow him to once again uh, shed the warmth of his love abroad in our hearts and in our lives. He loves us, cares about us, but it's our responsibility to make sure that we're right, that we have uh, kept the faith, as it were, that we have uh, been true to the Lord, keeping true to the Lord. I, I for one, don't want to allow my heart to become callous uh, to the things of the Lord, but to always stay close. I love the old hymn that says, Nothing between my soul and the Savior not of this world's elusive dreams. Boy, we can get sidetracked much too easily. So let's keep our hearts and our minds focused upon the things of God and allow the Holy Spirit to move and work in our lives. Amen. I pray the Lord will richly bless you today. In Jesus' name, amen. <music>